Namaste children. I am Srimati Anupama Rao from Mangala Vidya Mandira. Children, let us learn grammar today. Pronouns. Pronouns. What is the meaning of pronoun? A pronoun is a word that is used in place of nouns to avoid repetition of nouns. I repeat it. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of nouns to avoid repetition of nouns. Let us look at some of the examples. I shall take a cup of tea. Jyoti has her own reputation. The girl looked at herself in the mirror. The man who is the brown suit, who is in the brown suit, is my father. Those are white bears. Which is your book? In these sentences, I, her, herself, who, those, which are pronouns. In the first sentence, I is personal pronoun. In the second sentence, the word her is possessive pronoun. In the third sentence, the word herself is a reflexive pronoun. In the fourth sentence, the man who is in the brown suit is my father. The word who is relative pronoun. In the fifth sentence, the word those is demonstrative pronoun. In the word, in the last sentence, the word which is interrogative pronoun. Children, let us learn kinds of pronouns. Personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, reflexive pronoun, relative pronoun, demonstrative pronoun and interrogative pronoun. Children, in this video, let us study personal pronoun, possessive pronoun and reflexive pronoun. Personal pronoun. What is the meaning of personal pronoun? A personal pronoun is used in place of the names of a person, animals and things. For example, she is teaching in the class. Here the word she is personal pronoun. I am playing hockey. Here the word I is personal pronoun. Personal pronouns stand for three persons. First person, second person and third person. First person. The pronouns used for the person speaking are called pronouns of first person. For example, I, I, me, my, we, us, our. Second person. The pronouns used for the person spoken to are called pronouns of second person. As you, your, you, your. The pronouns used for the person spoken to are called pronouns of second person. Then, third person. The pronouns used for anyone or anything else are called the pronouns of third person. As he, him, his, she, her, its, they, their, them. Children, I repeat this. First person. 
the pronouns used for the person speaking are called pronouns of first person second person the pronouns used for the person spoken to are called pronouns of second person third person the pronouns used for anyone or anything else are called the pronouns of third person possessive pronoun possessive pronouns indicate possession ownership or belonging possessive pronouns indicate possession ownership or belonging for example the car of the red color is mine here the word mine is possessive pronoun this is his bike here the word his is possessive pronoun the mobile on the table is mine here the word mine is possessive pronoun these books are theirs here the word their theirs is possessive pronoun reflexive pronoun reflexive pronouns show the effect of their action on the subject reflexive pronouns show the effect of their action on the subject for example pramod is doing his homework himself here in this sentence the word himself is reflexive pronoun then we are white washing the wall ourselves in this sentence the word ourselves is reflexive pronoun children let us look at homework fill in the blanks of the following sentences with suitable pronouns first one sumalata has a bag on dash shoulder Second one, Sangeeta dash knitted the pillower. Third one, Neeraj dash painted this picture. Fourth one, dash are sweet apples. Fifth one, dash am your elder brother. Children, you have to write this homework in your homework book. practice the below mentioned table and make a video children you have to learn these first person second person and third person and make a video children learn these pronouns thoroughly thank you